hello everybody in this very short video i'm going to show you how to set up your ohio scale uh the the one i'm going to talk about is sp hex scout 421 so i'm going to verify it properly it's called spx scout 421 okay the one that starts with 0.1 to 420 gram okay is an electric balance scale that gives you accurate results in decimals okay so how do we how do we set it up so you basically going to get in up in this type of box if you are buying it from uh, an authorized seller you are going to get in this box so you're going to remove this from the nylon and you're going to remove this also so what you're going to do remove all this thing you're going to see the instruction booklet in the box so take this instruction booklet out quick I'm going to make this video as short as possible so put it in what you want to do the first thing you want to do is to turn this knob okay let me zoom in so you can see turn this knob to here right now it's in locked position so you want to turn it here turn this red arrow here it has to be here then whatever you have if you have the round one you're going to just uh, plug it in inside here this okay go inside here so that's what you don't need you don't need to worry about it clicking it's not going to click just leave it like that the version that's going to click is the bigger version okay that one is going to click but you don't have to worry if you have the bigger version all you have to do is just turn plug it in and turn it until it clicks that's what but that's not for this video if you have this one just make sure you take this put it in okay until it clicks once it's click you don't need to remove that's why i'm not talking about this one so i'm talking about the sp hex scout sp hex balance 421 okay now you take the charger that comes with it please do not use do not use a uh, battery i recommend you go for the one that has with the ac adapter so plug it in here and set it on now how do we calibrate it so the first thing you want to do you don't have much to do then to just turn it on okay when you first turn it on you don't have much and this has all the instruction also just like i'm telling you this is what you need make sure you follow the instruction here so we are good at this point what you want to do at this stage is to calibrate it so you're going to open your instruction booklet i think that is on page uh, four of it so you're going the instruction booklet has more information that i'm not be covering in this video but see it in the instruction booklet <coughs> excuse me so what you want to do now is that we want to calibrate it how do you calibrate it's very good that the spx 421 comes with a calibration mass okay it comes with a 420 gram calibration mass i mean no sorry about that 200 gram calibration mass so you're going to see in your box just keep that aside Go to page four of your instruction booklet, right? Then we're going to, the first instruction is saying press and hold the menu button. So you're going to press and hold the menu button. So when you see Carl, okay, you're going to press yes. Then when you see span, right? That will be shown, right? You're going to, you're going to press yes also to start the calibration. Then it's going to tell you the weight to use if you do not have this weight right what you want to do is press no to check other weight that you may have so if you have the 200 gram that comes with it this will come with a 200 gram then you press if you don't have the weight press no okay let me say now i don't have another weight i'll press no it's going to give me another weight if i don't have it then i'll press no also it will go and give me another weight if i don't have it you press it and you have 200 i have 200 and i'm going to place it on it then once it's done you are good to go you can remove it and you can you can turn it off then what you want to do is just uh continue turn it on here to continue using your scale as uh, much as possible so basically what you do remember when your scale is giving you wrong wrong information then that is the time to calibrate it so let me show you again how to calibrate it press menu press this menu until you see then until you see call right 
When curl is the spray, you press yes here. Then span is going to show on, right? Then you're going to press yes to begin calibration. It's going to show you weight. If you don't have this weight, press no if you, until you see the weight that you have. So I have 200 gram. If I don't have 200 gram, I'll press. Keep pressing. You'll keep showing me different uh, calibration weight. Then I have 200 gram, I'll put it on it. Then it's done. Perfect. You are good to go. Take it off, shut it down. You are good to go. That's basically out. Now, how do you protect your SPX as, um, cover? To, how do you protect it from, let's say, you're working with water and so you want to protest all this place to make it last? You know, on this channel, I always give you the right information. I don't, I don't hold anything back because I want you to have a good experience. That's what this channel. Don't forget to click that subscribe button also and the notification icon. If you want it to last, you want to get a cover. Okay, this cover by Wires, okay, by this company, it's called In Use. You use Cover Scout. It's for the Scout brand. Different types of the, this brand have different covers. So you want to get the one for the brand that you bought, right? So um, I bought the Scouts and I bought this. So I have a link in the description box below for this scale. The second one that I have also and the Scout cover. So what you're going to do, just take it out from the box. I'm going to show you a new one. So let's unbox this. This is the new one. Take it out from the box. Uh, basically, this is it in the box, right? Take it out from the box. So easy to install, just put it on top of it. on top of it and find a way to press it down now if your version is not going down you should open this one let this one go down first okay so open this and let it go down first let it set down then you can cover it perfect that is how to use a scalp cover so in this case let's if water spill on it like here you can see how the water is going down right so please keep this in mind. That's about it for this. If you want to clean it, basically do not use acid, right? Do not use acid to clean it. Just use regular distilled, regular uh, liquid castile soap, okay? Use regular liquid castile soap. Just take this out, uh, wash it with regular liquid castile soap and rinse it with distilled water. That's what we need to do. Do not use chemical. Do not spray isopropyl alcohol or anything on it. It's going to uh, destroy it, right? Just make sure, but please get yourself this scout cover. It's going to make it last, protect your precious skill. It's expensive. That's how you protect it, okay? With this uh, S Scout S41, it comes with the scale by the by wells themselves, okay? So you don't need to buy scale. It will come the 200 gram. So you can calibrate it with the scale it comes up to. But when you buy another type, it will not come. You need at least minimum of 4,000 gram of calibration scale or uh, weight to calibrate this. In another video, I'm gonna show you, I didn't have 4,000 gram, but I did it myself. I'm gonna show you how I was able to skip that and how I was able to make the 4,000 gram up myself to do this. That's about it for this video. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.